hope you're well. So as on the title, I'm going to be doing a week in my wardrobe, just trying to convince myself to wear some more nicer clothes. The weather's getting a bit better and challenge myself actually to try and pick stuff out of my wardrobe that is not maternity. I'm currently 19 weeks, just over about 19 and a half weeks. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of in that in-between stage, kind of pregnant, kind of got a bit of a belly, but not too big. I can squeeze into a lot of my clothes still, which is great. Obviously, this is my last pregnancy. I do not want to buy loads of maternity clothes because although I could pass it on to friends, it's still just forking out for stuff that I don't really want to. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will give you some inspiration whether you're pregnant or not pregnant. A lot of my stuff is old, like I haven't been buying anything at all recently. But um, yeah, I hope you like it anyway. And I'm gonna show you my first outfit. Okay, so first outfit, this is a dress which is non-maternity. I think I either got this last year or the year before from Primark, I can't remember to be honest. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it must have cost me about £10. Um, and I'm currently wearing it, obviously, over 19 weeks. And still pulling it off. I only have a, you know, a kind of little-ish bump which is why I can still wear it without it rising too much. I also have a bit of an issue with bras at the moment, but this is, um, they're kind of like tank top style crop top bras. They're just comfy. So that is what I'm working with. And that's why you can see that little white bit there. Um, but yeah, it has kind of really floaty, lovely sleeves. Um, and it has a little tie at the back. And right now I can still wear it. So I'm really happy that I can kind of pull it off got some really nice weather at the moment my shoes are next I got these last year leather they just cover the front they're so comfy they're great if you've got wide feet like me uh, this is pretty much my outfit my necklace is from Mercy Maman I'll leave it linked below but it's in engraved it says my world at the back and then it says Alistair and Violet and I plan on uh, when this baby is born. I was thinking about getting a September birthstone. You can get them kind of just put on the chain. Um, but obviously I'm due the 11th of September and who knows, this baby could come early. You never know. So I might have an August baby instead. That is what I've got around my neck. I've got my pearls on. And this is my outfit for today. Okay, another outfit of the day. It's really hard to get the lighting since it's a dark dress, but this is a dress from Next. I actually bought this when I first found out I was pregnant. I kind of saw it in Next. Um, and I just thought, well, it looks super stretchy. It's, the fabric's really stretchy. If I get it a size up than what I would usually get it, um, it's going to last quite well. I thought it would be a good all year round kind of dress. It's very lightweight, but I think with a pair of tights, you could probably pull it off. It has these really cute like tortoise shell buttons. It's black. It's got little brown spots. This is the first time wearing it. It has little sleeves. Again, I've got one of my little like tank, like, crop top things on and it works perfectly without having like too much on show um yeah and fits my little bump in there perfectly i also think this would be great for breastfeeding um in the future because it's just easy access you can see that i only got it back in january so most likely it's either still in store or online i'm wearing the same jewelry the only thing different is that i'm wearing my olivia burton watch the buttons are really sweet as well they're kind of like tortoise shell and here's my olivia burton watch which i've had for a few years it's basically just a brown leather strap it's a good length as well and i'm probably going to wear my brown little sandals which i wore yesterday okay outfit for today i am wearing this top it's a bit cooler today so i've got jeans on but i'm wearing this top it's like sleeveless um i've had this for a few years i want to say getting on to three years it's originally from next it isn't obviously maternity um but i really love it it's a light blue it's really lightweight it's a great sort of summer top and because it's quite it's usually obviously a bit longer and looser but because it is that style i can actually wear it at the moment while i'm pregnant um yeah you can see the sort of design up here which is really really pretty this is originally from next um so that is my top and then my jeans these are maternity jeans so i got three pairs um of jeans back ages ago when they first went into uh, the sale 
Um, this pair I actually got from ASOS. I think I paid just over £10 for. It's an over-the-bump pair. Um, they are a little bit big, I have to say. I'm still kind of growing into them, but they are super comfy. Um, it's my little 20 week bump. Um, well, the only thing I find as well is that I feel like I, I've got such short legs. I've turned them up like twice, and I feel like the that should be a little bit higher. Uh, but never mind, they are a little bit distressed, but they are super comfy. They're kind of like boyfriend, girlfriend style, you know, that loose fitting jean. And then I'm just wearing my old school blue Converse there. Pretty much my cash outfit. I'll probably stick on a navy cardigan uh, when I go out. Kind of like my old faithful navy cardigan. I originally got this from TK Maxx. It's beautiful. It's kind of like um, percentage is, I can't remember how much percent is wool, but um, it's super soft and it's got this gray panel. It's nice and long with, pop, with um, pockets. Um, yeah, I just find, I've had this for a couple of years, it just goes with everything. Okay, another quick outfit of the day, I'm literally just heading out the door, it's a bit of an errands day. It's humid, but still quite mild, but a little bit drizzly. So I've got some jeans on, these are a pair that I got from the Mother Care Closing Down sale. i got a black pair and a and this navy pair. They're by Blooming Mar Marvellous, I think they're about £15. Over the bump, um, I can officially fit into these now, which is good because I do need them. Um, yeah, I really like them, skinny leg. Uh, they look very much like a normal pair of jeans, which I really like, even with button details and stuff. Um, and then my top is from Next, non-maternity, more than likely still on in-store online. Um, I got it in a size eight. Generally, I think the fit is very oversized anyway, because it used to be quite loose on me. Again, it just fits perfectly right now over the bump. Um, my jacket is from ASOS, it's kind of one of these navy blue kind of uh, lightweight puffer jackets. I love it, I think it was probably about 20 or 30 pounds, I got it sometime last year. Um, it's just very easy throw on, it has no hood, nice sort of collar. Um, I can't actually zip it up anymore though. <laughs> and then uh, my satchel I've had for years is from Next, it's kind of like a suede leather satchel it's just one of those days where i just need my purse my keys and my phone and it's perfect for that on my feet i have my old school converse which are in navy blue that is pretty much my outfit for today super comfy as well a hey, quick outfit of the day i'm heading out to see my mum i think we're gonna go for some lunch um yeah so i have got my blooming marvelous maternity uh, jegging trout jeans uh, similar to the ones that I wore yesterday but these are obviously black again I got these for about 15 pounds I think they go right over the bump which makes it super comfy and they look like normal skinny jeans they're really stretchy as well um, and then my top so sorry I'm so out of breath um, so yeah I've got a normal tank top underneath which is just obviously non-maternity this top is also non-maternity this is actually from Morrison's I picked this up around like October November time I really love it and it's obviously naturally looser but I'm still managing to squeeze in it squeeze my little bump in it anyway um yeah I love the like tortoise shell buttons um, it does up obviously, you can kind of open it out if you want to. Uh, it's got a little pocket, three quarter length sleeves and I just love the grey with the black spots. It's something that I really just don't have. It's, I don't have a top anything like this. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much my outfit for today. Yeah, you might be able to see it better there. Got my usual jewellery on, I'm wearing my hair down. I actually put some makeup on today. <laughs> and then for my jacket, I'm wearing this green, very similar to the blue one that I wore yesterday, but this one is from Primark. Uh, again, I bought this around November, December time. They're 15 pounds and they had every single color in, but I love the green. I just think it just goes with a lot of things. And then I'm also wearing my silver converse because I, again they do, I just feel like they go with everything this is what it looks like when it's on I actually bought it in a 10 so I can still just about do this one up which is handy because it's a bit of a grey drizzly day okay quick outfit of the day you've probably seen this jumper many of times I got this about a year ago it's from ASOS it's the pieces brand I'll try and leave it linked but they do have it online it's pink like this blush pink and it's got navy blue leopard print. It kind of looks like black in the camera, but it's actually navy blue. 
um, I've got my necklace on and it still kind of fits me so I'm still wearing it I've got just a strappy tank top underneath and my um, blooming marvelous navy skinny jeans which go over the bump obviously maternity uh, yeah that's pretty much my outfit I'm gonna wear my silver converse and then I've also got my jewels uh, coats which I got in the January sales I think it's just beautiful I absolutely love it um, I'll show you what it looks like on actually you can see there's no way of doing it up but it's fine I don't need to do it up really at all today um, and my perfume actually, this is the perfume that I've been wearing for quite a while. I got this I think last year for my birthday uh, when we went to Iceland. Oh, it's the 30ml uh, of the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. So I got, I, I got this actually in like a two pack set from the airport. I can't for the life of me find the other one for some reason. But um, yeah, as you can see, I've nearly run out, but it's a beautiful scent. It's very kind of musky, not too floral. That is pretty much my outfit for the week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of perfume you're wearing at the moment. I feel like once that's run out, I need to find a replacement, but I'm not really sure what to go for. I don't know whether to go and get a bigger size of that or maybe try something a bit more summery, a bit more sweet. Um, the only other perfume that I have is the Estee Lauder Modern Muse, which I love, but I'd say it's more of an autumn winter kind of um, scent. It's quite a strong, um, heavy scent, I would say. So yeah, let me know your thoughts um, or what you're wearing at the moment. I'm definitely into trying her new perfume. Uh, I might treat myself since I can't really buy any clothes at the moment. It'd be nice to actually buy something that's gonna be useful and last a while as well. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have and I will see you all soon.